You're telling me that the leader of a third world country runs around in a bulletproof cat suit? YouTube, what is up? All right. So we are going to be looking at the new Marvel Legends uh, Black Panther wave. First off, we're going to be taking a look at the Black Panther in his vibranium suit. And you can see we got another Chadwick Boseman Black Panther head. And this one's going to be pretty much uh, the same as the uh, first we received in the Black Panther wave, which is going to be this guy here. And we have the Civil War Black Panther, which we already got. Um, in the box, I can't really see much of a difference. And that's going to be this Black Panther here. Let's bring him to the front for a quick second. All right. Um, as you can see, we got a uh, smirking head here with the Civil War version. And then the other has a more, you know, straight face, pretty much plain look. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be cracking those two open. We did get the entire wave. Uh, here is the Black Panther T'Chaka version. And these are uh, part of the uh, M'Baku Buddha figure wave. I picked these up at GameStop uh, yesterday. Uh, and that's the uh, Dora Milaje. Um, one thing I did want to point out is that we got, you know, different head scopes. And these two, I really don't, these two, I really don't uh, know who they are. Although this one here does resemble Ayo, uh, which is a character portrayed by Florence Kasumba. Um, and the other two I, I, I don't recognize. I really didn't try to look into it too much. And here we have the tactical suit Eric Killmonger. Comes with the uh, M'Baku head. Uh, that is the actor Winston Duke. And here we have Andy Serkis as Claw. I also whipped out a bunch of other figures that I had uh, that pertains to these figures as far as Black Panther is concerned. Um, let's go ahead and move a lot of this out of the way. Um, so we're going to be doing like a comparison of uh, these two, the two Silver War figures. Um, if you go back and look at uh, some of my videos where I, where I actually uh, am talking about the Black Panther figure and the Black Panther wave or in some of the other ones, I mentioned like, dude, how many Black Panther figures do we need? And, you know, when you get them, it's kind of like, wait a minute, these are actually really cool. And uh, although I can say, you know, this was uh, more of not necessarily a cash grab by Hasbro, um, but maybe a lot of people missed out on this figure. And for its time when it came out, it's a, it was a really good figure. I, I dug him and I still do. Although this one, the texture may be a little different. I'm not, I'm not quite sure. We're going to have to take that out of package and look at it. Um, and uh, then we have the uh, vibranium suit. Now, I actually seen somebody on uh, one of the Facebook groups. Uh, it it could have been the uh, syndicate page, uh, which I am a member of. And I do share some of my stuff there as well. Uh, some hauls and, you know, uh, when I post things on YouTube, I put it there as well. Um, so someone actually took maybe a purplish marker and or, or paint 
and colored this one and pretty much made this. And I think they just gave Hasbro, Hasbro that recipe. You know, it's pretty simple, you know. It looks like just, you know, this with added paint, nothing else. Uh, to the eye at the moment, um, that's pretty much all it looks like. So we're going to take those out of, out of package. We're going to crack those open and see what we have. All right, so this is the new Silver War version of the Black Panther. Yeah, we got a little paint splotch in there. Not a big deal. Um, it feels heavier, duller paint. Um, it's pretty much the exact same figure. I mean. This is painted a little different, but uh, for the most part, uh, it's pretty spot on. Pretty much the same thing. This one's uh, more appealing to the eye, just because of the uh, the black that they use. Um, but if you have this one, I mean, I don't see a need. Uh, if you have the older Civil War version, I don't really see a need for the new one. I mean, other than uh, collecting the uh, build, -a -field, build a figure piece, excuse me. Yeah, let's just post them up there. Um, but for some reason, this one feels better. It, f it feels heavier. And the material used feels a lot nicer. Whereas that one feel, feels a little flimsy. And I don't know if it's just because of over time, maybe it got that way. Because I did, you know, not necessarily play with them a lot, but I, I did handle them a lot. But yeah, essentially these are very much so the same figure. But if you don't have that one, this is this is not a bad... This is not a bad one to get. Uh, let's go ahead and switch this head out. See if there's any differences in the face, which, you know, right off the bat, I don't believe they are. Um, yeah, I mean, you can see it for yourself. It's pretty much the same. The... Uh, Paints are, you know, a little different. This one's a little more silver, a little brighter, where this one has a duller look. But, uh, yeah, still good figure. I'm not upset about it, but, you know, it is what it is. I do this for you guys so you guys can check it out and see if, wait, do I really need this one? I mean, technically, no. If you have this, this is good enough. If you have the older one, it's good enough. Sorry. You know, I, I hope that turns out okay because I keep looking at the figs rather than uh, in the camera. And I don't know if I'm actually showing you what I'm pointing at. But, uh, yeah, this was the older head. Uh, looked nothing like Chadwick Boseman. And, uh, I mean, we can probably use it for something else. Maybe a uh, comic book version. It might look okay. And then uh, the newer one came with this head. Now this is the uh, smirking face. Let's go ahead and switch that out. So they pretty much gave us uh, two heads with each of these two new Black Panther figures, the Vibranium suit and the Civil War version. Um, I wish they would have gave us the uh, T'Challa head, the way he looked in uh, Civil War. I mean, that would have been cool, rather than you know two very similar heads. Kind of reminds me of uh, 
that Eagle two pack with uh, Star Lord and Eagle, where they give us two different heads that look pretty much the same. So I don't know if this is a necessary figure, other than um, getting it for the build a figure. And this is gonna be. Let's see if that focusing. Uh, Mbaku's left arm that comes with that figure. Um, I would suggest if you have this, maybe you could just see if you can buy this separately. But most of the people that are going to buy this are going to want the bath. You're probably going to find uh, the Civil War Black Panther more readily available. Because I think people are going to buy it, sell him, keep the bath piece, and maybe even keep the smirking um, T'Challa head. All right, let's check out that uh, vibranium suit. All right, so here we have the vibranium suit. Black Panther, and again, it's uh, the same. Other than the uh, purple paint, it is very much so the same. Uh, we did get the uh, straight face. That's what I'm going to call it. A straight face uh, Chadwick Boseman T'Challa head. Which this is a good look. I prefer that one over the smoking, smoking head. The smirking head. And it came with two fisted hands. Which we did get with uh, the other Black Panther figure as well. So... Um, this one is actually a very nice figure. I like this one. I really don't care for that vibranium look too much, but it's not terrible. And, you know, am I happy to have to buy them to put together the uh, M'Baku? Uh, not really, but, you know, for what it is, it works. And uh, I'm not too mad about it. So let's go ahead and uh, switch that head out. Uh, we got people being really no noisy, nosy, noisy in the background right now. Uh, hopefully, we're not picking that up. But uh, yeah, that's a good look. Uh, I don't mind that at all. It's a really good look, and um, I was able to pick these up at GameStop um, for you know GameStop price twenty two. What is it? Uh, $22.99 but they have uh, a sale where whatever you can fit in the bag they you charge you five dollars for the bag and then you get 25% uh, off your entire purchase which is not a bad deal I ended up picking up the entire wave for under $120 which t to me is okay it's not too bad you know I know at some point uh, these figures are gonna be going on sale and uh, you know, you'd be able to find them cheaper at some point, but for the sake of, uh, you know, my subscribers and uh, friends that follow me on YouTube, you know, I do this for you guys. I pay that extra money regardless, you know, and, it, and it's okay with me. Um, so, wow, this is what I'm talking about. This is actually really cool. I, I actually dig this. So... Vibranium suit head on the um, Black Panther wave uh, body. Not a bad look. Although, yeah, that's not a bad look at all. Let's go ahead and uh, throw that smirking head on here. If I can find it. I know it's here somewhere. Okay, so that, that I put the smirking head on the Civil War one. Which uh, doesn't do it for me. Uh he didn't really have a beard in Civil War, so that that doesn't work for me. Although it, the head fits, and it fits on pretty good. And here's that smirking look, which isn't too bad. But again, I prefer the straight faced. So on my shelf, if I decide to shelf him maskless, uh, this is pretty much the look I would want. Um... One thing we didn't do was uh, go over the uh, packaging. Um, again, here's the right arm for M'Baku. 
and the left arm. Both of them have gripping hands. Nothing uh, too crazy or special. They didn't come with anything else from Baku. Um, sorry about that. So here is, wow, they uh, taped over the UPC. But that is the uh, retail price. I'm knocking stuff over, as always. Um, if I can get these stickers off, I'm going to go ahead and show you that. But here's the the box, right? There's the box. And we are building this in Baku here. This is going to be the uh, Civil War box. Um, and on this Civil War box, you're going to see that it has the Black Panther uh, logo. Whereas the other has the uh, Avengers logo. And again, you can't see the UPC on this one. Um, there's a read up on that. And uh, this one has the Avengers logo. So the uh, maskless Chadwick Boseman head. I'm thinking they're going to be not even from the Black Panther wave from that first wave. This is going to be more of the way he uh, looks in um, Infinity War. And if my memory serves me correctly, that is pretty spot on. So this is not the way he looked in Black Panther, the movie, not in Civil War. It's going to be his look in Infinity War. So there you have it. Uh, first two of the uh, Black Panther wave. That's going to be the M'Baku uh, Buddha figure wave. And we have, oh, not that one. Wow, now I don't know what I did with the head. Okay, so we have the Civil War and the Vibranium suit. Again, uh, please like, subscribe. Uh, we are going to be going over all these shortly, uh, covering the uh, Eric Killmonger, which I think might be next, him and uh, Claw. Actually, you know what? Let's go with the uh, Dormelage and T'Chaka figure. We'll get started on that. And again, please like and subscribe. Sorry, everything's a mess right now. Uh, noise in the background is really annoying me. I hopefully, you guys can't hear that. Uh, like and subscribe. Thanks again.